Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am really excited because I'm gonna be doing another Winners and Marshalls haul. These are like my favorite types of videos to make just because I love Marshalls and Winners so much. I go there all the time and I always find so many great things. So I wanna share with you guys the stuff that I've found in like the past month, I wanna say, cause it has been a little bit since I made one of these videos. So this is everything that I found in like the past month. Um, there's a lot of makeup and some really good brands. So I'm really excited to share with you everything that I got. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first up, let's start off with some home decor because you guys know that I always find home decor when I go and I just love home decor so much. It's like my second passion aside from makeup, like home design, interior design, that kind of thing I'm so passionate about and I love decorating my house. So I did find some really cute things. Okay, so the first thing is another plant. You guys, I am like addicted to buying plants at this point. Like I have so many in my house, but I somehow keep finding more that I wanna buy. And I swear I'm gonna like run out of room soon, but I did find this really cute plant here. Um, this one was $16.99 and I wanted this as like a centerpiece for my table for like the fall time because I think this is like really fall themed and I just love the way it looks. I think it fits perfectly with my decor. So yeah, I really love this. The only thing about it though is it does shed like little hairs from these like branches. I don't know. It's just like fuzzy stuff and it's like kind of falls off a lot. Um, so yeah, that's the only downside to this, but the plant itself is so freaking cute. And by the way, I can't remember exactly where I got that plant, if it was at Winners or Marshalls, but it was one of the two. Um, this I found at Marshalls though, and this is a little sign. It's a wooden sign, and it has like a gold, um, border, I guess, like painted around. It says, thankful. So I thought this was really cute for like the fall time, Thanksgiving. Um, and this was $20. It's made in the Philippines and I just put this on my fireplace mantle. It just looks super good there and yeah, so I really like this. Okay, and then the last thing for home decor is just this blanket. So this is a DKNY blanket. It's kind of like, I don't know exactly what it is, if it's like knitted or like what you call this kind of texture. I can try and zoom in for you guys. Um, I guess it's like some form of knitting, but it was on clearance for $30, regular $39.99, so I saved like $10. And it's really like soft, and I feel like it's gonna be like a nice cozy blanket to have on the couch. So yeah, I grabbed that. Nice. Then at Winners, I found this really cute Juicy Couture makeup bag. Um, I already took the tags off because I did have to use it, um, but it was $16.99. And I just like that it has like a lot of space inside, so I can fit like so much makeup in here like when I travel, which is like not very often, but I did have to travel once in the past month to go visit my husband. So I packed like this thing full of makeup and yeah, I just think it's a super cute like design. It's very soft and like velvety feeling. So yeah, I really like that. I think that's so cute. Next, I got this Kitsch. This is the quick drying hair towel and I got it in pink, of course. Um, I always use hair drying towels just because I find them so much easier than like a regular towel. And yeah, so I have a couple of these, but I needed another one. I just feel like I need more than just two. I only have two. So yeah, I grabbed this one and this one was $16.99. Okay, and then I was so excited to see this there. This is the Fresh Cream um, Perfume by Philosophy and it is the 60 ml or two fluid ounce bottle it was $19.99 only this literally retails for like I think close to $70 at like our local drugstore so yeah such a good deal um, I already took the packaging off because I wanted to use the perfume because it smells so so good um, so this is what the bottle looks like and it is like a really sweet like vanilla y um, kind of scent yeah it just smells like dessert like sweet sugar just amazing. It's like my favorite kind of scent to wear. I just love anything that's like gourmand, sweet, sugary, like that's just my go-to or anything like with vanilla in it. I'm like a sucker for vanilla. So yeah, I was like so happy to find this and add this to my collection. Let's move on to some makeup now. I am so excited because I found so many good brands, some unexpected brands. Honestly, some products are, or brands that I like never thought I would see at Winners or Marshalls. I don't know, I was just really surprised and like happy because I literally was like grabbing everything off the shelf in every shade. I'm like, I need it all because I really love the brands 
and the like influencer who's behind the brand which is Jaclyn Hill so I did find quite a few of her products from Jaclyn Cosmetics so let's start with some lippies so I did find these two liquid lipsticks and I believe these are from a past holiday collection they were $7.99 each and I got the shades flannel and bow so they are both kind of like red shades um one is more of a like burgundy and then one is like a true red i don't know if you guys can see that i'll try and zoom in for you a little bit there you go okay so yeah they are both like really pretty red shades that i think would be like great for fall and like the holidays coming up so yeah i was like so excited to see these there because i love her liquid lipstick formula like look at this packaging it is so pretty like i'm obsessed so yeah, I'm really excited to have these. I already have like quite a few of her lipsticks. So now I get to add a couple more shades. And yeah, I also found some more lippies, but these are a different formula. These are the lip cushions and they literally had five different shades. So you know me, I grabbed them all here. I'll try and hold them all up in like one thing. There we go. Okay, so we have like quite a few different shades. Um, they were all $7.99 each. So we have the shades Last First Kiss, Lip Locked, Sincerely Yours, One and Only, and Promised. So we have some like red tones, we have some pinks, and um, I don't know, this is kind of like more of a mauve shade. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna like swatch them all. I feel like that's gonna take forever, but I do like the formula. I have tried them out already, and I like like the cushiony like moussey formula that it has um i'll just swatch one for you guys just so you can see so i'll just swatch this one in the shade promise this is like a kind of like a mauve shade so that's what the packaging looks like again the packaging is so pretty and yeah we'll just quickly swatch that just so you guys can see at least one shade and kind of see like the texture of it so that is what it looks like i love the color I'll try and zoom in so you can maybe see like the texture a little bit probably hard to see but it's like a moussey formula it's kind of more um it reminds me of like the nyx soft matte lip creams if you guys have tried those it's got a very similar formula to that it's very lightweight on the lips and not drying at all so yeah i really really like this formula and i'm super happy that i was actually able to grab um so many because i love getting new lip products like I'm a sucker for lip products I feel like my collection of lip products is so small so I'm super happy to like add a couple new ones and a couple new shades just because I'm kind of getting like tired of the same old ones all the time like I definitely need to expand my lipstick collection for sure um so yeah really happy to add those and then I also found the skin perfecting oil primer this was $12.99 this is what it looks like and I tried it out and I really really like it I feel like it's like a very nice nourishing primer it's supposed to prep prime and nourish your skin for radiant lit from within glow um and it definitely does give a nice glow to the skin so I really do um like it and can't wait to keep using it I'll try and like swatch it on the back of my hand well not really swatch it but put some on the back of my hand and just rub it in so you guys can see like how the finish is like it's a really nice like glowy dewy kind of finish and it smells really good it has like a lavender kind of scent and yeah it just like makes your skin look and feel so nice so yeah that's how it looks you can see like the glow there it's really beautiful it's like very natural looking too um so yeah i'm super excited for this and then lastly from Jaclyn Cosmetics, I found a bunch of her cream to powder blush sticks. So again, same thing as the um, lip cushions. These are like the same line. I found a couple shades at Winners. I found a couple shades at Marshalls. So I grabbed all of them. There is the shades Empress, Overruled, Swoon, and Royal Flush. So we have like a pink kind of a deeper mauve shade, a peach, and like a red. So yeah, I haven't tried these yet, but I am really excited to. Um, I'm gonna just show you what one of them looks like. So this is in the shade Empress. This is like the pink um, blush, and the packaging is beautiful. It's gold, and this is the color. So 
so I love this color I think it's really pretty pink I really like pink blushes so I'm super excited to try these and I'm like also really into cream products so this is like perfect um, but it is like a cream to powder so I'm interested to see what that's all about but yeah I'm not gonna try these on in this video obviously I have my makeup done already so I can't really do that but I will probably test these out on TikTok or something so you can go follow me there I link it down below in the description box all the time so you can check me out on TikTok and I do a lot of like product reviews and stuff on there so I'll probably end up testing one or a couple of these shades out on there so yeah that is everything I got from Jaclyn Cosmetics and now let's move on to some other makeup brands because I still have quite a bit of makeup so I did find the Norvina, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. It's just the mini, this is the volume one and it was on clearance for $8. Regular, they are $12.99, but this one was on clearance. So I decided to grab it. Initially I wasn't gonna grab it like for $12.99. I was like, I don't really need another eyeshadow palette, especially like small ones like this. I feel like I don't typically reach for a lot. But I just, I don't know, I wanted to try it because they, you know, they look really pretty, like the colors, and I do own the Norvina, um, like the bigger ones, the bigger palettes. I have a couple of those, and I do like the formulas a lot, so I figured this one would be nice for, like, travel and stuff, like it's really nice and small. So this is what the shades look like, very pretty, lots of pinks, purples, um, so I'm excited to try it out. I'll try and zoom in so you guys can see, like, up close. There, that is the shades. They are really vibrant and just really pretty. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I'm sure it's got the same formula as like the bigger palettes, but I don't know. I just figured I would grab a little one just for, you know, just for whatever. Didn't really need it, but it was $8, so couldn't pass it up. Then I also grabbed the Marc Jacobs. This is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. So this is the spring runway edition and this was $7.99 so it is like a full size mascara um, and this is like honestly one of my favorite mascaras I do have one right now um, that I got in a boxy charm like quite a while ago honestly I should probably throw it out because it's like really old at this point but I'm just like really excited to have another one of these because like I was really sad that that other one was my last one and I thought I would never find it again but you know we did, so super excited. Next, I grabbed another Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade C135. This was $5.99. Um, so, funny story, last time I, like in one of my previous hauls, I picked up one of these Morphe concealers, or what I thought was a concealer. Um, it was actually a pink color corrector, and I just thought it was like a pink tinted concealer, because I mean, they they do have those, but this was actually a color corrector, and when I used it, I was like, why isn't this as good as I remember it being? I know this concealer is amazing, but this concealer is not performing the same. Well, that's because it was a color corrector, not a concealer. So that's my bad for not reading, you know, the packaging properly. But it still works. Like, I can still use it, obviously. Like, I need it for my under eyes sometimes to brighten them up. Um, but this is the actual concealer that I was thinking of and, like, have tried in the past and love. So yeah, I'm super excited to actually have this now because yeah, I thought the other one was this concealer, but yeah, it's just a color corrector. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, so I have two from Urban Decay and I hardly ever see Urban Decay at um, Winners or Marshalls. Like it's a very rare occasion and I feel like some of these products, I don't know. I'm not like super familiar on Urban Decay because I don't really buy any of their products other than their setting spray. So, um, if you know anything about these products, feel free to let me know in the comments, but I'm not sure how old these are, um, if they're newer, but anyways, I found the Brow Beater Eyebrow Pencil. This was $12.99. It's a waterproof brow pencil and spoolie, and I got the shade Brunette Betty, which is a medium brown. So, I was really excited to see this because I love trying new brow pencils, and I've never tried one from Urban Decay, so... Yeah, I'm really excited to see how this works out, and I love that it's like waterproof, so, you know, that would come in handy if you ever have your makeup on, and for whatever reason, you get wet, and your eyebrows get wet, I don't know, maybe if you're going swimming or something, but yeah, so I'm really excited to try that, and then I also found the Lash Freak um, Freaky Volume Mascara, so again, I have never tried an Urban Decay mascara either, 
So I was like really intrigued by this. The wand on it looks really interesting. It says it's supposed to vol volumize, define, and lift. Um, I think there's something else, but it's covered by the tag. I don't know. Um, but this was $14.99, so I'm going to open it and just have a look because I didn't even look at the packaging of this yet. Ooh, I love the lime green, like metallic. It's so pretty. So I'm interested to try this for sure. I want to see the wand because the wand looks really cool on the packaging. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a different kind of wand than I've ever tried before. Like, look at that. That is very interesting. So I'm definitely going to have to try this out. Um, I may review this on TikTok as well. We will see. But I mean, like, it's very intriguing. The pictures on the back of, like, the before and after, like, is crazy. That looks so good. If my lashes are going to look like that, I'm definitely going to like this mascara. But you never know. I mean, sometimes, like, mascaras, they have a lot of claims. And sometimes they don't really do any of them. So we will have to see about that. But definitely interested in trying that. And then the last makeup product that I found, I actually found at Marshalls. And it is by Fenty Beauty. Like, another Fenty Beauty product. Last time I scored the Diamonds um, Balm or something. Like, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the Diamond Balm highlighter um i got that and now i found the pro kisser luscious lip balm so i have seen the foundation there as well before but they never have my shade of course um because i do love that foundation but they never have my shade so i can never pick it up but i was really excited to see this this is my first time seeing um this lip balm there i mean i don't think i've seen any of her lip products there before not definitely not the glosses and definitely not her liquid lipsticks. So yeah, this is probably the first lip product I've seen there. Um, and this is in the shade Hint Hint. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. It was $12.99. I don't know if I said that already. But this is the packaging. Just your typical Fenty, like, simple packaging. And then inside, it just looks like that. It looks like it's a clear, like, formula. I don't know. On the packaging, it shows here. Like, it looks like it has a little bit of a pink tint. But... I mean, on the wand, it does look pretty clear, no? I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, I'm really excited to try that as well. Obviously, I'm excited to try all of this stuff. Um, but yeah, make sure you're following me on TikTok because that's where I do the majority of like try-ons and reviews of products. So yeah, um, check me out there. I have it linked down below, as I said before. I also have my Instagram if you want to follow me on Instagram. Okay, so that is all of the makeup that I got. So we're going to move on to the last two things for this haul. And I found some really cute bags at Winners. And they are both by Steve Madden, which is like a brand that I really, really love. I love the designs that they make, like their shoes, purses, um, stuff like that. So I found this really cute crossbody it's like a faux leather um with this really cute chain detail and then it says steve madden right there and this was 39.99 um and it does have like a button closure and then you kind of just like open it up like that and it has a lot of space to fit some stuff it does have a pocket in the back as well with a zipper which is really nice so i just thought this would be like a really cute like going out bag um, when I don't want to carry like my bigger um, purse, then this would be a nice little option to have and just fit a couple things in. I think it's really stylish. It would go with a lot of outfits um, because it is black. So it goes with like everything. And yeah, I just think it is so cute. And then the other bag that I found is this one here. I think this one is so cute too. I love the color and I love the chain on the strap. And yeah, it's very simple, but yeah, I really just fell in love with the color and it has a nice pocket on the back here, which I usually will put my phone in and then yeah, you just open it up and it has a pocket here and then one with a zipper as well. Um, and this one was $34.99. So yeah, I'm really excited to use both of those purses i think they are so cute and just like really nice for like going out or if you're like going to the mall and you just want to carry a couple things with you that's why i love crossbodies i feel like they're just so like functional so yeah that is everything though from this haul it was quite a big one i hope this video isn't going to be too long um but i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye